Welcome everybody. Here's today's tech tip from StreamyTeacher.com for Mastercam. Take control of your display using view sheets. So today this is all about view sheets in Mastercam. You're going to see here I have uh, five view sheets uh, that are displayed and view sheets must be turned on in Mastercam and that can be done from the view ribbon over here in the view sheets group. You'll see view sheets must be toggled on and now you can start creating view sheets. I'm going to show you an example here. First view sheet I have uh, is called part and work holding and this is going to display the uh, work piece and uh, fixture. And so then I have a glass display of the part, I have a shaded display of the part, I have shading turned off with a hidden line removal, and I have a section display. So I'm going to quickly show you how to create these various uh, settings. So what we're going to do, we're going to start off with just deleting the ones that I have. Right click, delete. We're going to get this down to the first view sheet. I'll delete these. So what I want to do first of all is I want to center in my viewport here uh, with a focus on just the part. So I'm going to click the part. I'm going to come up here to view. I'm going to come over here to where it says fit and I'm going to use selected and that'll center the selected part up to the viewport centering the workpiece. So I'll unselect that. That's exactly what I want in my levels. I have just the solid model of the workpiece plus my fixture turned on. The display of those two items are turned on. I'm going to right click and I'm going to save that view sheet bookmark. Now the settings for view sheets. If you right click and you go to settings, there are new settings that have been added to the later versions of Mastercam. And you want to go ahead for this example and just turn all of those on. So we're going to hit enable all and then we're going to save those settings. Now I already have mine saved, so I'm just going to cancel here. But you want those turned on for it to work this way. So what we're going to do is we're going to just copy this view sheet. We're going to right click and copy and this next view sheet that'll carry over all the settings from the previous and on this next view sheet I'm going to rename this to glass. And for my glass display what I want to do is I want to make sure first of all that this part is set to glass for its material type. And so I'm going to click on the model right click come all the way over here to set material and we're going to set this to glass. So now you'll see you get that nice glass display and you need to make sure that the material toggle is toggled on and that uh, maybe in this case I want the fixture turned off and I want to just look at the part. Come down here then and right click on glass uh, view sheet and save the view sheet bookmark. So now I've got work holding fully shaded with the with the workpiece. I've got glass with just the workpiece only. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy view sheet. I'm going to make another view sheet. So I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to rename this to shaded. Okay, so for shaded, what I want to do is come up here and toggle material off. That puts it back to just normal shaded mode right click and then save that view sheet bookmark. Right click, copy the view sheet again. Right click, rename. Let's call this uh, shade off. And for the shade off, what I'm going to do is come up here to this wireframe display, but I'm going to drop down and turn on the no hidden lines. And I like that display. Everything is still set the same way over here on my uh, visible levels. I'm going to right click and save the book view sheet bookmark. So now I have part work holding, glass, shaded, shade off. And now for the next example, I'm going to hit the, uh, I'm going to, instead of hitting the plus sign, I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy the view sheet. I'm going to right click and I'm going to rename this to section. Let's create a section view. So for the section view, I've got the, the uh, view sheet tab created. I'm going to come up here and turn the shading on because for section views shading has to be turned on. Then I'm going to come down here to planes and for this particular part the front plane if I come over here and click in the section that's a good spot to give me a section view right through the middle of the part. You also have to make sure up here that section view is turned on 
and then come down here and save that into your view sheet tab. So now I have part work holding, glass, shaded, shade off, section, and on and on we go. We can create many different variations of ways to look at the part. That's one quick example. Hope you enjoyed today's tech tip. If you like this, please like and subscribe to Streaming Teacher and uh, watch for uh, future videos and we will see you soon.